Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stolt Biscuit. Looking at the pre-alpha, and I do stress pre-alpha, it's not done yet. Calm the hell down of War of the Roses, brought to you by Fat Shark and Paradox. They're actually billing this as one of their flagship titles, something to really have a serious look at. And what it essentially is, is a multiplayer-focused medieval combat game. They described it as the Call of Duty, the battlefield of the 14th, 15th, 16th, so on and so forth century. That's a really long run on sentence. But what I can tell you, and in fact, hopefully show you, is the combat system as well as the actual perks and things like that. It's serious in terms of the customization. Bear in mind, this is not finished and also I'm out of quite low resolution. So stuff's actually clipping off the screen here, which is kind of the nature of things. But what we can do is we can actually edit stuff and we can look at the level of customization that's available here. Once again, this is all placeholder stuff. Do understand that. So say if we wanted a two-handed sword, for instance, you can see there's two kinds here. There's going to be more coming in. Big claymore. We can have a big claymore. You can then actually pick a style of fighting. English, German, and Italian. Let's go with a German school. Obviously, Germany didn't really exist back there, so that's going to be Imperial. And then you've got different kinds of blade materials. So, weapons actually do have health. They can break. So, hardened steel, yes, is, is going gonna, is gonna to hit harder, but it's going to have some problems in the process. Better penetration, less damage. You can actually grind the edge of your weapon. You can even quick the pick which pommel you want there. That's the only dag... Well, actually, there's two daggers currently available here. Please don't take any anything whatsoever from these stats. Nothing at all. This is nowhere near finished, by the way. So you then pick your sidearm. You've got all sorts of different options. A one-handed axe sounds good to me. War axe or battle axe. Once again, don't take the stats as meaning anything whatsoever. We'll take a battle axe, I think, with quicker swings. Hardened steel with a flat edge. And even the actual shaft itself. You now that's slower swings. It'll last more, but we're going to go with a standard one there. After you've done that, you can actually pick various different helmets. We're going to go for a kind of heavy armor thing. I see great helm there. Heavy frog mouth. We'll go with the great helm. You can then customize the coif underneath it and actually just show a crest and things like that. There are actually a lot of different options when it comes to helmets. Lots of them, as you can see. And needless to say, in the kind of Call of Duty Battlefield style, this stuff's going to end up being unlocked. Go for a heavy full plate mail with different customization elements on it. And you can also pick some perks as well. So we can go with a Man at Arms perk right there. And you can see Fencing Master Shield Breaker enables a follow-up attack there. Counter-attack on a successful block. That might be quite nice. I think you get the idea. As I said, very much kind of in-testing sort of stages here. But I, I customized this guy to have all sorts of different options. You can also customize a coat of arms, which is supposed to be for your kind of team and clan. And you can completely change things around here. As you can see. Once again, doesn't really fit on the screen because of the resolution I'm recording it at, so do please forgive me for that. It's again pre-alpha. I don't even know how many times I have to say this. I think that might be a halibut, in which case I think we're in a, a good situation. You can actually customize the crest on top of the helmet and things like that as well. But there we go. A lot of customization. So we're going to go to multiplayer right here and have a little bit of team deathmatch. See how the combat handles. Get the level loaded and then we can get in here. All right, so I could pick my customized character here. Not sure how well that's going to end up happening. Join that squad there. Kill the enemy. All right, there we go. So this is my character. As you can see, with the great helm and this sword. Unfortunately, I, I can't really move all that fast. You can sprint in this game, which looks like it's fairly important. Catching people can be difficult. I'm not sure if I really want to engage the guy on the horse, but I do have a very, very big sword, so I guess that there is the possibility I might be able to do something about that. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Smack his horse with the sword. Take his legs out. All right. He looks like he could be stabbed. I don't quite have the reach here. 
Those who are familiar with Mountain Blades combat, yeah, you, you're going to understand this inherently, I feel. There we go. Some fairly solid damage being done there. It's a quite slow-paced combat system. It's a very deliberate combat system. I I think like you can actually move at the same speed backwards, which I do not like because it does involve these kind of very weird strafing battles, which just don't look natural. That's something that might need to be changed. But you can sprint forward to try and catch somebody. Get back here. I'm going to have you. This guy's fairly heavily armored, so he's taking a little bit of work. You can also, of course, switch out to your secondary weapon, which in this case is a, a light war axe there. Now, when you die, you can be revived, unless, of course, you are executed, which you very well might have been at some point. If you get executed, it's it's fairly brutal. I'll try to show you it once I... All right, now would be the time to get my big sword out. There you go. Have some of that. Stabby, stabby. All right, execute. So here's the execution. It's fairly brutal. They've, got, they've only got a couple available at the moment, but... It is fairly important to do that. You can also revive your friends, which is what I'm trying to do here. I'm also taking arrows in the process. Thankfully, I'm in some fairly heavy armor. I'll try and come in from the side. No, he got me. And as such, is going to stab me. The, the executions are actually first person, which is it's quite nice. I think that's this is the ev natural evolution of teabagging, if I'm totally honest. All right, I'm going to pick a longbowman this time around so I can show you some of the ranged combat. Ranged combat is a bit tricky to pull off, needless to say. But can be extremely effective. You can also use a crossbow. When they first talked to me about the game, I'm not sure, I don't think that's actually in the game at the moment, but when they first talked to me about the game, they were talking very much about the idea of very early gunpowder weaponry. Very early. Uh, I can't... Ho this, is a, this is a longbow, so you're not going to be able to hold it for too long. And in fact, actually, the longer you hold it, the less accurate you get. So, just take a little bit of practice, needless to say. Arrows also have fall off. They don't shoot directly ahead. And you don't have a huge amount of zoom either. So, as powerful as they are, they do take a fairly significant amount of skill. They are not hit scan. You also don't get a huge amount of arrows either. Something to consider. All right, we'll see if we can take him out. You also completely lose any peripheral vision that you would have. Any. While you're firing with this thing, so... It's tricky. You've got to be very, very careful when you decide to use it. Get into a good position. Getting into the middle of a melee fight is not a very good idea. But what you can end up having, since this is, game is supposed to support 64 players, is a lot of kind of archery lines and things like that. Getting onto an elevated position. An archer is not so effective in melee combat, but he's effective enough. Alright. I'm gonna try and take him out while he's on his horse because he's stuck in an awkward area. Riding off as quickly as he can. Switch back to my bow and arrow and see if I can take him out. The arrows do regenerate. Yes, it has regenerating arrows over time. Alright. That's a lot of enemies coming in our direction. A target-rich environment. Oh, I think actually he has a Culverin, which I'm pretty sure is actually a gun of some sort. Right. There we go. Got a hit there. You can headshot in this game, which is in itself is quite awesome. Oh, there's his horse gone. They haven't put in the horse dying animations yet, but he's he's now on foot, which is actually a very, very good thing for all of us, because if he was mounted, the chances are his perks were related to being mounted. So he's probably not as good as you might think in combat. I'm also behind him, so I'm able to do a reasonable amount of damage. And down he goes. I want the execution on this guy. You get back on your feet. There you go. Now we can stab that through his face. Sorry, Lewis. Uh, he did look like a bit of a ponce. Alright, so this guy's got a large battle axe, and I'm not feeling it. So you know what? I'm in light armor. I'm just going to run away. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, wow. I'm in the middle of the enemy team. This is even better. I just like... I'm doing drive-bys right here. 
with this sword, just running around with a hand and a half swords. I'm just and now I've stolen some guy's ride and I'm getting out of here. This is Grand Theft Auto War of the Roses. Unfortunately, I can't fit the horse through that narrow gap. I'm going to get to a nice range and start sniping people again. Because that's just how it is. Horse animations are actually surprisingly good, and the horse feels like it's got a bit of weight. You're not actually riding around on a motorbike, which is nice. But if you haven't played Mountain Blade, you're, you're going to be challenged by the combat. <laughs> challenged would be definitely one way to put it. Horse archery is also possible, but I would imagine you probably need some kind of perks to make it very effective. Oh, in the face. Ah, uh, love it. So there's going to be a couple of gameplay modes available for this on launch. Team Deathmatch and kind of Conquest mode Battlefield style. Are looking to put in something involving Siege Warfare at some point, but that's not going to be in on release. All right. Drive by. Kill yes. Streak. Kill streak. Headshot. Where's me dogs? Me helicopter gunship. Give me that. Now, a lot of the UI elements are still very, very basic because, once again, this is a free alpha. It is to be expected. Our team seems to be doing fairly well for itself. We're all called Nefastus as well. We all come from the same village. We all come from the same mother. Get back here. From the cries of pain in the background, it sounds like Lewis is being thoroughly dicked on. Take his horse. Take his horse. Take his head. No decapitations. Did it? Oh, I have a feeling they might have to do something about the physics engine. I'm pretty sure ours don't do that. Oh, that was comical. But one way or the other, as I said, it is in testing. It's actually very, very fun to play for me as a Mountain Blade player. It does feel like they've they've polished up the Mountain Blade combat to be a, a bit more visceral, which I do very much like. I wouldn't even say it, it's not any easier. Actually, I would go as far as to say the archery is significantly harder, but it is better. In my honest opinion. I really shouldn't have customized the class with the gun. I've been alive for quite some time here. I've just noticed I'm doing fairly well. All right, you. Some guy spawned on the roof. The archery does... Oh, this take a lot of anything. Oh! Ow! Time to leave. I'm bleeding fairly badly by the looks of it. No, and I'm dead because it turns out I actually got an arrow in the balls. Suboptimal. Well done, Lewis. Bastard. <laughs> Alright, so it's 1-1 one, one now. Mm, you've got light cavalry and heavy cavalry, as you can see there. But at the moment, everyone's actually wanting to fight in the middle of the village, so... I don't really want to get a mounted enemy. unit. Doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm going to get a crossbowman. These things take ages to reload, but obviously very, very powerful. As you can see there, you've got to actually wind the thing up. It takes a wee while. And then you go into first person mode. So it is loaded and ready to go. I get myself a good sniping position. Oh, we've only got a few seconds left. Where's Lewis hiding? Where is he? He's one off. This thing is hard to aim. There we go. We absolutely slaughtered them. Absolutely slaughtered. We'll do a little bit more of this and we'll try out some of the different classes. I actually might recustomize that class because I'd actually like to try that gun. That would involve leaving the game though. So we'll go back to the crossbowman for the moment. Kill the enemy. Right, squad one. Left button to spawn. Here we go. Well, some brave guys on a horse. Funnily enough, they, you'd think that the mounted combat would make you very overpowered, and might to some degree it kind of does, but. You become such a big target, and since a lot of these fights are in the middle of villages, there's actually a lot of terrain that can block you, so you're not as effective as you would think. Obviously, on an open field, you're very difficult to match, but there's a lot of ways to take down a mounted unit. Very slowly stealth my way through here. Where is he? Crossbow went actually fairly armored, as you can see. At least this one is. Not that you can't customize it. Where are they hiding? Majority of the game is done in third person. Interestingly enough, it's actually possible by pressing V to put your visor down. Severely limits you. Severely limits you in terms of how much you can see. But it actually gives you 
a bit of protection against attacks to your face. It's interesting the way that they've done it, considering it's a third-person game, but it seems to work. Alright. I hope that's Lewis that I'm about to shoot in the face. <laughs> I think it might have been. 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. I can just hear the cries of pain from over there. It's wonderful. Someone's managed to change their name. You know, it might be a good idea to do that. Actually, you know what? It wouldn't be because I put a target on my head. Oh, you yeah. get off. That was quite painful. Oh, yeah, crossbows are very, very powerful, but the amount of reload time is absolutely ridiculous on them. Oh, he just shot him at point blank range. What a bastard. My Mountain Blade combat experience will help here. As you can see, stabby stabby. Oh no. Ooh, bleeding. That was a good swing. Oh! Through what appeared to be the groin. I'm hoping this guy manages to win because then he can revive us. <laughs> Some of the combat does look a little bit derp at the moment. That's something they, they definitely need to work on the way that weapons actually interact with each other. Ooh, I'm getting back on my feet. This is wonderful. There we go. Thank you, brave sir. So Mortar has now got a target on his back. There is actually even a dagger that you can swipe with. That's your kind of third weapon there. And you can also fight with a sword and shield. If you happen to have a shield in your inventory. Alright. It's going to do a lot of promise, honestly. It's quite a nice looking game as well. Obviously there's still a lot to be done with the engine because it's not quite done yet, but... Right now it's looking fairly reasonable, to say the least. Hello. We're going to get you in a corner and I'm going to smack you about a bit. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Successfully parried that. Parry that. Ooh, nicely done. There's a reasonable amount of feedback. Uh, it does show you kind of what angle you're going to be swinging at, what angle you're going to be parrying at, which is fairly important. Ooh, there you go, through the face. You can finish him off. The execution moves depend on the weapons that you're using, but that one isn't quite done yet. A lot of this stuff is not quite done yet. Alright, you know what, I'm going to get over that wall and get away from the guy with the big scary weapon. Reload the crossbow. Hope nobody notices me while I'm reloading the crossbow. And then, just maybe... Shoot that guy. Get out of my way. There you go, I have one of them. Reload time of this is just so crazy. There we go. I'm not sure if there's a way to make it go faster. There actually might be, like... I'm not sure how the mechanic works, but you'll see, like, I click there, and that little thing reloads and actually turns around. So I have a feeling there's a Gears of War kind of style reload mechanic there. I see ya, I see ya. Ooh, did I hit him? I think I did. Switch back to Sword and Shield and get into the melee. Kill streak. Kill streak. Uh, and you spending so much time on Mountain Blade would come in handy. There you go, getting nice and close. Polax is no use at this range. There you go, I have one of them. Off to the side of him, which is making things rather awkward. Hitting him with the shaft isn't going to do anything. Get off him. <laughs> like a knight right to the center of it. Yeah, that's it. It, it. The game has got a lot of work to do on it, honestly. It really does, but... They're, they're saying that they're going into alpha and they're going to be in alpha for like at least four months and then a beta and they're like, this is, they've got an entire year to get this nicely polished up. So in its current state, it's actually a lot of fun. But it's got a lot, a lot of work to do. Which I think everyone accepts kind of at this stage that this, this is what software looked like years ago. We never even had the option to see it at this stage. I think it's rather cool that we do now. They're looking for 64-player multiplayer for this, which sounds delicious as far as I'm concerned. 
I have a feeling my sword is a bit broken. <laughs> it's not doing so well. Get back here. <laughs> I just love the way he's just prancing away. No! I don't know if injuries have any effect on your speed, but if they don't, they definitely should, because findings, actually getting some of these guys is pretty tricky. Alright, let's get the crossbow out again. I'm still trying to sort of figure out the reload mechanics on this thing. It kind of jams that. I maybe. Oh, right. okay. Aha! There you go. Right. So you kind of you kind of lock it into the coil there, and it reloads much faster. I see it. I've learned something today. Let's play Hunt the Lewis. I have a feeling I may have shot one of my friends in the back. Not intentional. I'm so sorry. There we go. Nice and quick. This game has a, a ton of potential. It's a shame I couldn't really show you that much customization. I'd say it's not 100% working at this stage. I pin up an arrow in the head. Oh, I used to be a crossbow man. That looked like a hit. I think it was. I'll take him on in combat. I'm confident with my combat abilities. I played. Oh, he knocked my shield out. Of wow, okay. That's unfortunate. This is going to make things a little bit trickier. And he's got a mace as well. It's Kill streak. Oh, there you go. Come on. Have it. Have it. I'll have you as well. Get in nice and close so he can't hit me with that thing. Night gets first. There you go. Yeah. Good parry. Good parry. Oh, yeah. And they'll get hit. They'll get hit. He's going down. He knows it. You can see it in his eyes. There we go. It's super effective. Well, I think that pretty much covers War of the Roses. It's a fairly long look at the current state of things. I'm about to be ridden down by this guy. That's not in the game yet, by the way, but yes, you will be able to ride people down. Bring it. Bring it, son. Is my shield back yet? Can I actually use it now? Yes, I can. I challenge ye to a duel. Good block. Come on. Oh, a good stab. That's a good start. They circled each other. Cautiously. One bleeding from his face, the other one looking rather pleased with himself. They flailed at each other wildly in the air. Did he just parry that with his face? Apparently. Oh, in the face. He's getting more desperate. He's getting more desperate. You can see it. Running through. Multi-kill streak. Oh, yes. Multi-kill. I have such a ridiculous advantage in this game. I haven't played Mountain Blade. I think I'm going to end up being top of the leader, but I don't know. I think I am, actually. Nefesis, 11 kills, 2 deaths. I'm pretty sure that's me. Oh, well. There you go, folks. Look at War of the Roses. A lot to do with this, but keep an eye on it when the beta comes around. My name has been Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time.